Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Sagittarius love prediction re reading for May 8th through May 14th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my impulsive, loving, fun, kind, Sagittarius, show me what's going on my fiery Sagittarius spirit guys. Show me what's going on my Sagittarius. Let's see, Sag, what you got going on. Let's see. The chariot. The world card. The nine of cups. The devil. And the three of wands. Hmm. The Sagittarius. I see the chariot card that's leading your reading. Could be a cancer person. Can be uh, any sun sign. But the chariot card does represent cancer sun sign. But this person... <laughs> This person is going for you. They're coming after you. No matter what you do, no matter what you tell them, it does not matter. They want you, so they're going for it. This is someone that's moving towards you, someone that's already in your love space, but they're moving towards you. They want to, uh, there's something here because they've already, you, you guys, when you see the world card next to this chariot card, You've already know each other. You've been through the storms together. You've held it out with each other. You, you've cried together. You've prayed together. You've done all of those things. And you are going for this person. Excuse me. They are coming for you. They are coming for you. It's not you going. It's they are coming for you. They are coming for you because whatever something has happened in this relationship now that is beginning to evolve and move into a new level because they are coming for you. They're coming for you. When I say they're coming for you, they no longer want to be just boyfriend and girlfriend. Or that's my man. Or that's my woman. They want to be, I just see them wanting to be uh, with you. And when I say with you, I see they want to make that proposal. They want to be with you forever and ever. Because this is a nine of cups here. There's a nine of cups here. Now, nine of cups is this, is, means that you are this person. Whoever's in your love space, you are their wish fulfilled. You, you, hey, you are their person. You are their wish fulfilled. They um, couldn't have asked for anything better because you've stuck with them through the stick and the and the and um, all of the messiness when they had money, when they didn't have money. You have stuck with them. So they look at you and they're ready to move to the next level too. But there's one thing here that's here. And I'm going to tell you, I see this devil card here. The devil can represent, can represent a Capricorn sun sign. Um, but that devil card is all about lust. It's about um, just, I don't know, just straight. Sometimes it can be straight debauchery. Just doing what you do. Just having all kind of uh, intimacies, um, incredible intimacy. This is not just someone that you just have intimate. This is someone that is very much into you. I see you guys doing all kind of crazy things together. When I say that, wink, wink, in a good way. But you are definitely, this is more than just, this is, this, this is more than just, um, your wish fulfilled on, um, this is a, a, a relationship that is also ruled by, uh, intimacy, um, uh, lust. There is lust, there's intimacy here. This relationship is not only a love relationship, it's a lustful relationship. So when you look at this, the nine of cups is here, and I do believe they want to go to the next level. But they also, there's also here this lust card. This lust, they lust after you. They, they, you know, it's like they can't, you guys can't get enough of each other. Um, both you and this person. It's like you can't get enough of each other. Now, I also see the three of wands. 
the three of wands is looking into the future because remember i told you this person wants not just um a relationship with you when it comes to um they're looking into the future they have the relationship already with you they're ready to take this relationship to the next level they're ready to take it to the next level but i see them and i'm going to be very honest with you when i see this devil card here in the middle and I see the Nine of Cups here. You're their wish fulfilled. But, you know, I think they're just a little bit afraid. And the reason why I say that is because it's very good right now. Your uh, intimacy with them is beyond right now. And I think they're just a little bit afraid of the future. Because, you know, a lot of times they say when people get together, when they get married, the intimacy changes. Um, and they're afraid of losing that with you if they marry you. But... You've been through the storms already, so I do believe they're about to ask for your hand in marriage. But I do believe that they are still just a little bit um, afraid of losing that great intimacy that you guys do have. Because this is not only love, this is lust and love. I see nothing wrong with lusting after your partner. I see not a doggone thing wrong with that. I think that's the way a marriage should be. Why shouldn't it be? So let's see. If this is your read, give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify this reading. I'm going to clarify the reading for you because I want to see what additional things the spirit guys want you to know. Show me, uh, spirit guys, if this is your reading, sit back and give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify just to see the spirit guys have additional, what additional messages do they have? Why is the chariot card here? Show me, spirit guys. Oh, I see the five of wands. The five of wands is here. Um, so there's conflict going on. And w when I say it's conflict that's going on, you and this person, you have, um, you uh, you keep conflict. When I say keep conflict, there seems to be that that's what keeps the spark of this relationship. Um, because that conflict, it's, it's like you don't, and, and I think this is very powerful too, what I'm going to say. You don't, I see with the relationship, it is not necessary that you agree on everything. And matter of fact, I don't want to be with someone that agrees with everything about me. It's just we need to learn how to fight it out. And there's conflict that goes on, um, but it doesn't matter because they're coming after you either way it goes. There is conflict, though. There's conflict that this goes on between you and them. So let's see why this world card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the world card here? Oh, I see the three of wands again. Whenever you see the, we see two cards or the same cards in the reading, that means that the spirit guides are telling me that I'm whomever I'm reading for, whoever is this, is if this is for you, I'm telling you exactly what they want you to know. This is the world card. The world card means that you have completed a cycle. You've been through all the changes. It is time to go to the next level. That's why you see that three of wands looking into the future, wondering what the future will be with you. That's what they're doing. Um, they know that you do have disagreements. You just have to make sure that you understand how to resolve the disagreements. But nevertheless, you guys have been through the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, and now it's time to go to that next level. Um, and that's why that three of wands is there because it's looking to the next. How do I get to the next level with this person? How do I ask for their hand? Um, how do I propose? So let's see why the nine of cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Oh, I have the Four of Cups. Oh, the Four of Cups. Why are you doubting yourself? Why do you not want to go to the next level? What are you afraid of? There's something that you're afraid of here. There's something that you're afraid of because this person is asking for your hand in marriage. This person is going to ask for your hand in marriage. What is it that you're afraid of? What is keeping you from getting that Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups means marriage. Ten of Cups means having a family or life with someone. What is keeping you from that? There is something that's keeping you from that. There is something that's keeping you from saying, um, being able to say yes to them if they propose to you. Let's see why this devil card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the devil card here? Show me spirit guides. Huh? The Hierophant. <laughs> this is the marriage. Why can't you say yes? The Hierophant card represents marriage tradition. Um, and it's over this devil card. You are afraid. Now say this again. I don't even think it's, uh, I think you're afraid of losing the intimacy, the closeness with this person. You're afraid of losing the lust with this person, but I don't think you ever will with this person. I think it's there to stay. That is what's keeping you. You are afraid of that. You don't want to have a lifeless, dull marriage. You want to have an exciting marriage. 
having a good time, doing your things. That's what you want. And here's this devil card here that's letting me know that you're going to have that. The devil card also means it gets a bad rap sometimes because the devil card um, can represent, it's the devil. But I also say it's incredible love. There's an incredible love here. It's almost so. It's just very, very, it's just a loving relationship. Along with love, there's lust here too. That is what's, what's scary to you. That is what's scary to you is that lust that you have now. You don't want to lose that. So let's see why the Three of Wands is here again. Show me spirit guides. Ten of Swords. I'm going to tell you, the Ten of Swords is, is something that has happened to you in the past. The Ten of Swords, someone betrayed you in the past. That's why you're holding back. That's why you're holding back um, with this lust and this love. Everything is all good, but something that, someone has betrayed you in the past. And so now you're trying to put an ending to this. But you really shouldn't do that because this person is good to you. This person is the right person for you. You need to get over your past in order to move to the future with this Three of Wands. Someone hurt you in the past. Someone betrayed you in the past. That's why you're pulling back now. That is exactly why. Let's look at the beginning here. The chariot can't represent a cancer sun sign. Chariot card means go. It means um, someone wants to come after you. Someone wants to be married to you. Not only this, when you see this Five of Wands, as I see this whole reading... You're fighting them about this. You know they want to marry, marry you. You're having conflicts about this this thing, or this marriage thing. Um, you're telling them you're not ready, and they're saying, when will you be ready? We've already been through it with the world. Through This is a cycle that has been completed. It's time for us to go to the next level, and I want to be your husband. And you're saying, I'm not ready, but you're not ready for the future, you're saying. I'm not ready to move toward the future with you. Um, and then you have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is your wish fulfilled. This person is your wish fulfilled. They're good to you. All of the, There's nothing you can say about this person. But yet and still, here's the Four of Cups because you're pulling back. You don't have your Ten of Cups, but you're, you're, you're not ready. You keep telling them, I'm not ready. You don't have your Ten of Cups, which means marriage. You have your Nine of Cups, which is means they, they are your wish fulfilled, but you're not ready to move to the next level because this devil card is here for one thing, and that means lust, love, incredible love. Because... You have to be um, in love with someone. You have to be uh, uh, obsession. You have to be obsessed with their energy. And here is the hierophant, which is marriage. Can't represent a Taurus sun sign. Then you have the three of wands. This three of wands is looking toward the future. And here you are pulling back. For one, you're afraid to lose this, what you have with them. Um, when you think the marriage will change the situation. But then you have the ten of swords, which means someone has betrayed you in the past and you have not gotten over it. So let's see. Show me. You better get over it, though, before you lose this, lose this person. You better get over it before you lose this person. Now, look what the oracles have to say. Reconsider your position.